Welcome back to our IB Physics video series. This is the first video in IB Physics Topic 5, Electricity and Magnetism, where we will be looking at charges and electric fields. Electricity is the complex interaction of charged particles. In this video, we will cover this process in detail. Let's start from the basics. If you remember, there are two types of charge, positive charge found in protons and negative charge found in electrons. Neutral charge, found in neutrons, is the presence of equal amounts of positive and negative charge. This will be covered in more depth in Topic 7 of our IB Physics video series. Because protons and electrons compose all matter, charge is a fundamental property of all matter. The unit of charge is denoted by Q and measured in coulombs C, where 1 coulomb is the equivalent to the charge of 6.25 times 10 to the 18 particles. When discussing charges, you may remember that like charges repel and opposite charges attract. But how does this occur? Well, charges exert one of the four core physical forces, known as the electromagnetic force. To aid understanding, this is often divided into the electric force and the magnetic force. The magnetic force will be covered in detail in our fifth IB Physics Topic 5 video, but we will look at the electric force now. It flows naturally from positive to negative ions. So, since positive charges radiate electric force and negative charges absorb it, it causes opposite charges to attract. Similarly, when like charges come together, the electric forces flow in opposite directions and the charges repel. This resulting overall attractive or repulsive force between such electrical charged objects is termed the electrostatic force, F. And its behaviour is determined by Coulomb's law. This states that the electrostatic force is proportional to the value of the charges, and inversely proportional to the square distance between them, i.e. higher charge values result in a higher force, and larger distances result in a weaker force. The formula for this is, electrostatic force equals the Coulomb constant times charge 1 times charge 2, divided by distance squared. The Coulomb constant's value in this equation is given as 8.99 times 10 to the 9 newton meters squared per Coulomb squared. The IB expects you to know that this value is calculated from another constant, the permittivity of free space. Via the formula, Coulomb constant equals 1 divided by 4 pi times permittivity of free space. In this, the value of the permittivity of free space is 8.85 times 10 to the minus 12 Coulomb squared per newton meter squared. For those of you studying IB Physics higher level, you will come across the permittivity of free space again in our Topic 11 video series. Let's review with a practice question. Two charges are placed a distance d and 1.5d from a 2.1 microcoulomb charge x respectively. If the magnitude of the electrostatic force at the charge x is 5, what is the distance between the two charges? The resultant force at point x is the sum of the forces from both charges. So, the total force is equal to force 1 plus force 2. For force 1 and force 2, the equation is electrostatic force equals the Coulomb constant times charge 1 times charge 2 divided by distance squared. So, we substitute in the values of the Coulomb constant, charge 1 and charge x, to find force 1. Then the values of the Coulomb constant, charge 2 and charge x, and 1.5d for force 2. Then, both sides are multiplied by d squared to remove the denominator. Simplifying the right-hand side and then taking the square root of both sides gives the value of d. Dividing this by 2, we get the distance between the two charges, which is 7.3 metres. And now you know how to calculate the electrostatic force between multiple charges. So why is this electrostatic force important? You've now reached the end of the preview for this IB Science video. If you want to check out the full video, head over to our website and select a membership plan today.